on your 3D printer. This tutorial shows you how to level the bed on printers that feature a touch screen, like the one shown here. When the printer is turned on, your printer's specific model name will be displayed here, along with the firmware version number. Before you interact with your printer, it is recommended to watch the video first, maybe even a few times, until you understand the menus and procedures. Then you can play this tutorial again and operate your printer at the same time, following along, pressing the buttons and performing the tasks as instructed. You may need to pause this tutorial as you interact with your printer or while waiting for automated procedures to finish. As you use the touchscreen, please note that it may malfunction if buttons are pressed too quickly, or it may have difficulty picking up the input from larger fingers. If the menu takes a moment to respond or appears to be frozen, don't press anything and wait. If the menu remains frozen for an extended period, turn the printer off, wait 10 seconds, and turn it back on. If larger fingers seem to be an issue, some type of stylus can be used. If this is a brand new printer and you haven't performed any of these procedures before, there's one additional thing to do. Data may have been stored in memory while the printer was being tested, and this will affect the results of the leveling procedure. Otherwise, you can skip the following step. From the main menu, press the Settings button. Then on the Settings menu, press the Tools button. On the Tools menu, press the Initialize EEPROM button. After a moment, you'll hear the system startup sound as the main screen is displayed. All settings stored in memory have been cleared. In this example, the Z offset is showing a value when it should have reset to zero. Just to be sure this takes effect and all menus will show the correct information, turn off the printer, wait 10 seconds, then turn it back on. Remember, this is not a normal part of the leveling procedure unless the printer is new, exhibits strange calibration issues, or displays incorrect data on the screen. For this procedure, it's best to have a 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge ready. A piece of paper may be used, but a feeler gauge is more precise and slightly thicker, giving you a buffer to lower the nozzle as you begin a print more on that in another tutorial. On the main menu, press the settings button to display the settings menu. If the printer hasn't already performed an auto home since it's been turned on, stand clear of the print bed and press the leveling button. The leveling menu will display, the printer will come to life and automatically begin an auto home procedure. As the auto home begins, the probe normally remains off but it's okay if it's blinking and it will reset automatically. It's a good idea to place the feeler gauge under the nozzle while it homes to protect the bed if the Z offset value has been accidentally set too low. To adjust Z offset, the print head lowers to Z0 and waits for you. Place the 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge or piece of paper on the bed surface under the nozzle. Press on the down arrow until the nozzle contacts the gauge and slide the gauge back and forth under the nozzle. As you begin this procedure, Z offset will appear at the top of the menu and the offset amount will change as you press the arrow buttons. When you're satisfied with the adjustment, remove the gauge and press the aux leveling button. For this procedure, only select the corners two through five. Adjusting the center is not possible and the auto level system will compensate for it. It's recommended to follow the number order counterclockwise as you make each adjustment. When a corner is selected on the menu, the print head moves to that corner, lowers to the Z offset and waits, giving you time to make adjustments. Place the feeler gauge between the nozzle and the bed, then carefully adjust the knobs under the bed which raises and lowers the surface. 
Some bed knobs are marked to indicate which direction raises and lowers the bed, but they can be difficult to see. Turn clockwise to raise the bed and counterclockwise to lower it. Like setting Z offset, the gauge should be able to move, but with a slight amount of drag. Repeat this process, moving the print head and adjusting each corner, and work your way around the bed a second or third time until the results are the same. Don't forget to pick up the gauge off the bed before you move the print head. You may now pause this tutorial if you need time to adjust the corners and start it again after you're finished. Now that the Z offset is adjusted and the bed is manually leveled, it's time to begin the automated mesh bed level procedure. Press the return button to exit the aux leveling menu and display the leveling mode menu. Make sure that hands, the gauge, or other obstructions are clear of the print bed. Remember, this is an automated process that takes five to 10 minutes. When you're ready, press the measuring button. All you have to do now is watch and wait as the printer begins the 25 point probing sequence. You can follow along on the menu as it displays the number of the point it's probing and check the table as each value is registered. After mesh bed leveling, the values on the table should be within 0.3 millimeters of each other. If they aren't, then you will need to perform the aux level procedure again to adjust the corners of the bed, or x-axis tramming may be necessary. Once the procedure is completed, the print head moves to center and waits as the nozzle heats, and this is indicated on the menu. Once it reaches operating temperature, the nozzle is lowered to the adjusted Z offset and you can check it once more and make additional adjustments as needed. That's it. This procedure is complete and you're ready to begin the next steps to prepare for printing.